Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLineDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. junk and lunch junk it's Columbus Day everybody has a sale on that day so the bad wheels open for sure I'm gonna head there and pick up a lunch for today I'm so bored already so Columbus Day like all the government agencies are closed and so nothing's coming in from them and apparently nobody died over the weekend <laughs> just good I'm not saying they should I'm just saying low obituary day and uh, I got an interview to do at one just a little fluff piece on an art show other than that I'm done working for the day <laughs> it's like holy crap this is brutal so um, yeah and like every newspaper they're, you know, money crunch, money crunch, money crunch. So we got to cut pages, shore things up, make it shorter, make it shorter, make it shorter. So I've been like brutally cutting through the out and about section and making them short, 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 short. It's probably going to make some people unhappy. Can't wait for that next week. I already had complaints this week. It's like, oh my goodness sake. Drama, 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 drama. I don't like this. I don't like this. So that means I am now incentivized to get my button gear and figure out my stuff. So I was kind of going through my life, questioning all my life choices. And uh, I sat down and I thought about all the extra stuff that I do and what brings me income and what doesn't and what's going to get cut and what's going to get added to and it's like oh there's going to be more I'm going to be um, a little exhausted for a while but it's going to be worth it because I need to do what I need to do you know you gotta put your efforts into the part that brings you the most income as a business owner so if you have parts that are just like fun or not you know, not very profitable. You kind of got to cut the not very profitable things and then just like, like events. Like Junk Bonanza. And put my energy into the things like the blog, YouTube, which means you're going to get better quality videos hopefully coming up. At least that's what I sat down and started plotting out. So it's not just going to be a daily vlog. And actually... I don't know how y'all feel about this. I thought about cutting back to like a once a week, um, just a tutorial. And I feel like you guys are going to be like, no, <laughs> or, you know, maybe three days a week instead, instead of a daily, because I feel like the quality that you're getting is not as good as it should be. I feel like the quality is lacking that's not good like I don't want to give you guys a video just to give you a video and then it's this sad little not a real good video quality I'd rather put my time and energy into making a quality product for you guys does that make sense so I'm still thinking on it you can weigh in in the comments I'll be happy to hear your opinion but you know you guys have a life and you don't want to watch I, I think I'm gonna have to just produce better content overall I don't know changes that come but I've been thinking hard on it I've been writing things down I've been going through and um, weighing my options so I know I've been saying that for a couple days now but that's where my brain is at at this point. So, you know, I'm going to back off of major events that are profitable and um, 
put my energies and time into events that are profitable and then hopefully be able to bring my income up to where it needs to be where I can go back to doing you know not having a part-time job don't tell my boss all right we're at Badwell y'all I don't know if it is just this location or Cambridge itself or the Goodwill but you know how the Goodwill has one line and then you you just they take whoever's next right well dude gets in behind me and I'm not in that one line I'm at the register and there's a bunch of people in line but he's he's gonna get in line behind me and he's gonna be so far up my badge I'm gonna have to give birth to him right so <laughs> he he's like bumping me with the cart while I'm trying to get my stuff unloaded so I pushed it back at him into his belly and then I moved my cart and even though I wasn't using the credit card reader I stood in front of it like to block him from putting his stuff down because he was like moving up on me again and then proceeded to stand behind me and go <laughs> look there's lunchtime on Columbus Day at the Goodwill buddy Yeah, well, I'm going to go then if you're going to be an idiot. I don't even care. Some sick people in this town. Oh, I'm going to let these people go and block you. You're going to have to wait. No, I'm not waiting. I ain't waiting. No longer waiting. No longer care. Ugh. So anyway, I'm just frustrated with the old people who can't pack their patients. What you got to do today? What do you have to do today? Nothing. You're retired. Pack your patience. On a holiday shopping day. I pack my patience and I gotta go back to work. Oof, duh. Y'all, Taco Bell just asked me to round up. That is such a scam. They're giving out these scholarships, right? So then you donate for their education and they deduct the scholarship they donated and you end up paying for it. Not doing it. Anyway, at the Badwell, I got some fun stuff. So it was full on Christmas for me, evidently. I wanted to find some fall stuff, but uh, no did not find fall stuff on Christmas. I found a Christmas thing. And then like amber glass and I have to unwrap everything though. So I'll have to show you guys tonight after I drop the OG off. Um, I have to go to Vintage Junkie tonight and drop off some stuff. And then I gotta drop the OG off at his brother's cause he's getting picked up early tomorrow morning over there. So I'll be able to hopefully come home and show you everything, but ooh. I'm not rounding up anymore, anywhere. Ugh. I feel like I haven't been in here in an age and I know it's only been like, what a week. <laughs> I don't know. All the Christmas stuff has been piling up in here. Time for it to come out because I need to get it priced and packed and ready to go to pick it and be ready for the extravaganza. Anyway, that's what I got today. So I'm gonna start with this. Memories are made at the farm. I don't know. Don't do that. I don't know why I did that. Don't fling yourself out of there again. It scares me. So, we kind of have a lot of people with farms. My clip is not behaving itself. <laughs> Obviously. Stop. Okay, um, so it's kind of farm country out here. I'm hoping somebody likes this. It's got good colors for Christmas is what I was thinking. But at the same time, I could probably get it in the shop right now. That's my husband yelling at the dog. 
Okay. Don't, don't fall. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on this. Speaking of Christmas, I know this is not what this is for, but I just thought this was cute. <laughs> is it? Or is it stupid? I don't know why I saw it and went, oh, okay, I'm gonna get it. And this one is just like, oh, so I got it. It's an amber glass um, storage jar. It's just really super duper pretty. It's kind of that 1970s feel to it. So I got it. That's probably going to go to Vintage Junkie tomorrow. And then, Naomi, I'm going to steal your idea. I'm going to try to patina a few things for Christmas. Angels. So I got quite a few little angels this time around that I'm going to, um, they were only a couple bucks a piece. So I thought if I patina them, like she's got a copper look to her, but I could make her actually a copper patina, like real patina and just level her up a little bit. So I'm going to try that. All right. Y'all, why? Why did I buy this? I don't know. I thought it was cute. I'm probably wrong. It's probably horrifying. It's just a little teapot lamp and I have shades. I have plenty of shades that I can put on it. Why do I think this is cute? I don't know. It's definitely not the right season for it, but here I am. Hold on to it. I know. I feel for me too. I don't get it. It's two more things. And then we're done and I'll let you go. Okay. I also got a bunny because I think he could be cute copper. Little copper bunny. Not till Easter though, probably, huh? And a little sleeping angel. Like, I love her wings. I love when they do these little um, angels and their wings are so detailed that it just looks like real wings. But anyway. Um, was a dollar ninety nine for this one, and I just thought also with the kind of copper patina that might be cute. I could be very wrong. We're gonna find out though. You and me, we're gonna do it. We're gonna try it. Um, so these two are gonna get a makeover because I feel like I feel like they could be cute. If they were coppered. Um really didn't like I don't see things and think oh I got for that no not at all so like my patinaing has been limited to things that would typically be rusted so like I took an old um railroad lantern that had been welded back together and the welds were aluminum so they weren't gonna rust like the rest of the thing and then I made it blend with the rust patina you know stuff like that but I never just went, oh, I think I, you know, I'm going to take this and rust it or make it copper. I haven't done that. So we're going to do it. Because Naomi did it. And oh, no, I want to do it. <laughs> You've inspired me, Naomi. I'm not stealing. I'm inspired. Anyway, that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. If you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junket shirts, don't forget to click the links below sports me and the channel and I appreciate everybody who's gotten their shirts if you'd like to join the vintage um, reseller mastermind group um, I'm gonna be doing more in there so you could do that as well I have a few tips that I want to post that I picked up along the way this last couple weeks um, so click the links below for that get your invitation to join the group you'll be approved pretty quick after you answer the questions and if you'd like to buy me a coffee because your girl's on half a tank could do that too it's like patreon without the monthly commitment and you know like the other day peace out <laughs> victoria's like what? she had to make it weird right why she gotta make everything weird so thanks for watching you guys happy junkin bye visit my blog peonylanedesigns.com for more tips tricks and inspiration thanks for watching everyone if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up
Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin videos.